Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville singer and mogul, dies. He lived his life like a song. With his crinkled smile, breezy tunes, and barefoot stage presence, Jimmy Buffett encompassed the persona of a beach bum. But a 50-plus year recording career that spawned unparalleled devotion from fans, as well as branded restaurants, books, beer, resorts, a Broadway show, and cruise line established Buffett as a bona fide mogul. The Margaritaville icon died Friday, according to a statement on his official website and social media pages. He was 76. The statement reads the singer died peacefully, surrounded by his family, friends, music, and dogs. He lived his life like a song till the very last breath and will be missed beyond measure by so many. Buffett struggled with an undisclosed health issue starting in 2022 when he was hospitalized and forced to cancel several shows. In May and June 2023, he canceled more concerts after revealing he was back in the hospital to address some issues that needed immediate attention. It was a striking admission from the Road Warrior, whose summer tours attracted swarms of devotees, known as paratheads. His fan base is legendary, with with hundreds of Parathead Club chapters around the country whose members trekked to multiple concerts adorned in Hawaiian shirts and hats bearing the tropical motif of Buffett's songs. Along with his 1977 breakthrough, Margaritaville, the languid ode to relaxation with a buzzy bent that was submitted to the National Recording Registry in 2023, Buffett penned a bonanza of pop culture staples in the 1970s and 1980s. Come Monday, cheeseburger in paradise, changes in latitudes, changes in attitudes, a pirate looks at 40, and pencil-thin mustache were alternately contemplative and silly, but all bore Buffett's signature sound that became known as trop rock, or, as Buffett called it, gulf and western, with acoustic guitar, steel drums, and pedal steel guitar injected into their backbone. Born on Christmas Day 1946 in Pascagoula, Mississippi, Buffett grew up in nearby Mobile, Alabama, where he developed a love of sailing from his grandfather. In 2018, Escape to Margaritaville debuted on Broadway to mixed reviews and closed after five months. The musical continued as a touring production. With the 2020 release of his final album, Life on the Flip Side, Buffett spoke about the song, Live, Like It's Your Last Day, which he said was inspired by his 1994 plane crash and a stage fall in 2011. I've had a couple close calls and I'm still here, he told USA Today. So I think I've been living like it could be my last day for a long time.